Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have an e.l.f. wear test for you guys today. We're going to be wear testing several different e.l.f. products. In particular, their new camo hydrating CC cream. This new one from e.l.f. comes in 30 different shades. It retails for $15. It is available right now where e.l.f. products are sold. I pick mine up directly from the e.l.f. website. It says it's going to be full coverage, long lasting with a dewy finish. I also want to point out a couple key ingredients uh, that this new CC cream has. It says it's formulated with tremella mushroom as well as hyaluronic acid. So we're going to be wear testing this alongside the OG CC cream that came out around two years ago. This one also comes in the same amount of shades, although at Ulta they only have 23 shades available. The shade that I have in both is shade Fair. 140 w so it is going to have a warm undertone i have them both on right now you guys will see this application in a few minutes um but for the original one this is going to be also a full coverage with a natural finish and this one contains collagen peptides and niacinamide so we have dewy finish over here natural finish on this side and i cannot wait to give these a good 10 hour wear test i will be also trying out one of nine new camo liquid blushes i have it on on both sides it's pink on wednesdays we wear pink so we'll be testing this out today i also picked up their new tubing mascara this is the elf lash extender mascara i have the lash extender already going on here on the right side and i am putting it head to head with one of my OG favorites of all time, the Thrive uh, Lash uh, a liquid lash extensions mascara. So I am so excited for today's wear test. I'm wearing practically a full face of e.l.f. Even down to the lipstick, I'm wearing one of their um, O-Face lipsticks that came out last year. This one is in the shade Effortless. I think it pairs perfect with my pink sweater. We're going to be trying out some new brushes, just a whole bunch of goodies. And I want to encourage you, if you haven't watched my latest video, which was my e.l.f. haul video, that way you guys can see everything because I placed a rather big order from elf and you guys can see everything that i hauled in that video if it is your first time here on my channel i just want to say hello and welcome to all of you my name is steph i love trying out new makeup i am certified foundation junkie foundation reviews are probably one of my most favorite things to do here on my channel but i do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes makeup ranking videos all that good stuff. If that sounds great to you, I want to invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a big elf fan the way I am, please give this video a big thumbs up before you go. As usual, I'll have everything that I'm wearing linked and listed in the description box. Some of those things might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. I also want to mention that I will be doing a dedicated e.l.f. liquid blush a swatch video. I bought all nine shades of their liquid blushes and we'll do some arm swatches. We'll do some cheek swatches. That will be coming up within the next couple days. So definitely be on the lookout for that. That. But today is all about the products I have on, wear testing them, seeing how long they're going to last on my 41 year old normal to oily skin, oily primarily in the T zone. I'll do my daily check ins. But one thing I do not do when it comes to these wear tests, I never touch up. So, what it is, is what it is. What you see is what you get. And I'm very excited for today's wear test. If you guys want to see these new e.l.f. goodies in action, keep on watching. All right, guys, I am very excited for today's wear test. Let's go in with one of my favorite e.l.f. primers, the Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. I do want to mention that this is the moisturizer that I'm using. I showed you guys in this in my haul video, but this is their new e.l.f. skin Hydra Holy Hydration Gel Yeah Moisturizer. It's very cooling, so you kind of want to warm it up a little bit between your fingertips and then uh, apply but that uh, moisturizer is going to be good for a combo or uh, oily and normal skin 
Okay, so on the right side of my face, and when I do my check-ins, the camera like reverses it, but just know I will be pointing to the right side of my face when I'm referring to the new one. We're gonna do the Camo Hydrating CC Cream. Again, this is gonna be full coverage with a dewy finish, and the shade, once again, Fair 140W. They're both gonna be Fair 140W. So that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm also going to use the um, e.l.f. Liquid Blush Brush. Even though it's intended for liquid blush, I think it's going to work out great for foundation. Now, you know what? I have a peach corrector up here for the under eye area. I probably need to apply that first before I go in with taking this up a little too high and this is the one I'm going to use from e.l.f. It is their camo color corrector in the shade peach. Let me just do this real quick. I'm just going to use my finger to kind of just tap this out a little bit. I've really been enjoying this. I've been using it quite a bit lately and the peach just helps to neutralize any of the darkness that is under the eye or really wherever you have darkness on your complexion. All right, now let's get back to blending this foundation in. Now I'm not noticing a scent with this one and I didn't see fragrance on the box. So that's good. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. I am seeing that dewy finish, but I'm also seeing that it's not really blending into the complexion all that well. Like, I feel like it's maybe just sitting on top of the skin. Yesterday, when I did my haul video, I swatched um, the new one and the old one next to each other, and the new one looked like it was kind of oxidizing a little bit, so we'll have to. We'll have to watch that. Right now it looks like it's a good shade match for me. But yeah, you see, like it's kind of just sitting on top. I'm gonna get my damp sponge. I still have some left. And maybe this will help melt it into the skin better. I'm using the bottom side of it and I'm gonna use like one side for the other the left side of my face when I do the um, original. I don't know, I feel like if I, I feel like I wanna add a little bit more just to use it with the sponge because it feels like right in here. Here we go. And this is always the area where I tend to build up coverage. It just feels like it's sitting on top. I'm taking a closer look. Uh, yeah, not really liking it, and I'm not a big fan of the original one either, but maybe this is just one of those products that needs, you know, a little, a little time to kind of just mesh into the skin, but as of right now, mm, not really feeling it. I'm going to go in next, and let me clean off the brush because we're gonna go in with the original one yet, uh, next, and this is what I use to clean my brushes with. Okay, now let's go in with the OG CC Cream. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. We'll start applying with a brush. I like the brush. It's doing good for the foundation. Like, it's the density that you want. It's the type of bristles that you want. I felt like with the liquid blush, like with their brush that they created, which was this one, I feel like it should have been a little bit more, what do I want to say, less dense, a little more pliable, a little, perhaps just a little bit softer. But, you know, I like that this brush can be multi-purpose. So I do have a review over this Camo CC Cream from about two years ago. 
look at that too. Same thing, just kind of like sitting on top of the skin, really hoping that it just starts melting in. Now I'm gonna get my damp sponge. I'm using the other side of it. And I'm just gonna press. I kind of feel like I'm getting more coverage with this side, even though they both say full coverage, but we'll see. Here is the OG side. Here is the new side. And you see I have a little blemish there and it's not really covering it. I mean, the shades are pretty spot on. They are the shade they should be, but I feel like I'm getting more coverage over here on the original side with the natural finish versus the uh, right side that has the dewy, the new one. Hmm. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, we're gonna give everything a fair, a fair chance. Now we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer. I hope this is not too dark for me. It's in the shade Fair Beige, and I'm using this for both under eye area. And I'm taking it on my BK A506. Now, I always take my concealer down, and I'm definitely going to because of the little blemish that I have right here. And so I'm going to do the same over here as well. I'm also going to do it right here on my nose, do a little bit on the chin. Just treat it the way I would any foundation. I'm going to use the same side of the sponge that I did for this side of the face with the foundation. Now I'm going to set my complexion and I'm going to go in with the NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Now I'm going to do bronzer and I'm still like hip pan. I'm trying to finish it up. I'm going to use the opposite side of this new dual ended brush before I set uh, everything with powder. And I'm just going to use the bronzer on the forehead and I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer on the nose as well. But I'm going to have to get a smaller brush for that. But I'm so happy. I'm so happy I'm almost done with it so I can buy a new one. They've already changed the packaging. That's how old this one is. I like this brush a lot for bronzer. I think it's perfect. I'm definitely going to reserve it just for bronzer and not like setting powder or anything like that. Okay, now for another exciting part of today's video, we're going to go in with one of the shades of the Camo Liquid Blush. The shade I'm going to be wearing, because I'm going to be wearing pink today. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. So um, this one is called uh, Pinky Promise. Give it a good shake, and I'll swatch it for you on the back of my hand. Oh, that's going to be perfect. All right, let's start applying. Hopefully that's not too much. I don't know what the pigmentation is. I'm going to use the opposite side of this brush. I haven't used this side yet. It was this other one that I was using for the foundation. And I will be doing a dedicated video where I am, wow, okay, I need to take some off on the back of my hand. I will be doing a dedicated video where I will be arm and cheek swatching all of these, but at least today you'll be able to see the longevity and how it holds up, as well as the mascara in addition to the new CC cream versus the old one. Okay, that shears out really well, but I definitely went in with a little too much. So I think you would just need like two, two little drops the way you would uh, when you use the Rare Beauty liquid blushes. Those are super pigmented. Treat these the same way. But look, it is shearing out. It is shearing out really nicely. And I think once I add a little bit of setting powder, um, Everything is just going to look really good. Yeah, I think that looks really, really nice. Just a nice sheer pink, a nice wash of color. I'm always, let's see, I'm going to apply the powder, and then if I feel like I need to add more, I will add more. I'm going to set my T-zone and under eye area with Cody Airspun. Now I think, I think I'm going to add just little dots right there just to bring it back a little bit. Again, I've been loving an intense blush, a bold blush this year. That might change going into 2024. We'll see what my makeup uh, resolutions are going to be. 
I actually think I'm going to be wearing bronzer, bringing the bronzer down again <laughs> for 2024. But um, did I say 2023 earlier? I meant 2024. But uh, bold blush was definitely a lot of fun this year. And I'm sure I'll st keep, still keep doing it, but maybe not as bold. Oh, yeah. I am so anxious for today's wear test, and we're not done yet. I need to apply the mascara. And then there's also a brow pencil. Oh, my goodness. Full face of elf, practically. So for highlighter, I'm going to go in with this one from Milani. It's shade 01 Afterglow Strobe Light Highlighter. Let me get, I'm going to use my little Shop Miss A AOA Studio brush. This is one of my favorite drugstores. I always get a lot of compliments when I wear this particular highlighter for some reason, but it's just a beauty. Milani. I think Milani makes the best blushes and highlighters, also Wet n Wild, but e.l.f. definitely gives them a run for their money, and we'll see. I have a lot of high expectations for this liquid blush from e.l.f. today. Look at how well the highlighter is going on top of it. Woo! I'm only working a half day today. Oh, I need to put bronzer on my nose. I'm only working a half day today because it is my mom's birthday. So we're going to go have lunch and then go do some shopping. Very excited. My mom turns 80 today. I'm just going over the blush with whatever was left just to blend the two together. Okay, now I'm going to give my eyelashes a curl with my Refer Eyelash Curler. I don't think I'm doing an eye look today just because I want you guys to really see the mascara. And sometimes when you add eyeshadow, that's it makes it hard to see the mascara. So, oh my gosh, I'm swimming in a sea of e.l.f. products here on my desk. But I know I laid everything else. Okay, here we go. I laid it all out last night, but here is the um, e.l.f. Lash Extender. One of you all told me that this is supposed to be a dupe for the Thrive Mascara. And I have the Thrive Mascara. It is one of my favorite ones. I have it right here. This is my favorite, like one of my favorite uh, mascaras of all time. It's the um, Liquid Lash Extension. And so this one says that it's going to be, well, one of you all told me that it's supposed to be a tubing mascara. Yep, it sure is. Tubing technology. That's what it says on the back of the box. So it's definitely going to be a lengthening tubing mascara. Do we want to put it up against the Thrive one? I think we should. Okay, I think we should. Since we have the new e.l.f. Uh, camo CC cream on the right, I'm going to do the mascara, the e.l.f. mascara here on the right, and then we'll do the Thrive over on the left. Oh, this is nice. I'm getting the separation that I usually get from Thrive. I'm also getting that amplified length. I have length to my lashes because I've been a Revital Lash user for, gosh, well over five years. I don't have to use Revital Lash every single day now since I've already built up the length and everything. But what I have noticed over time is that my lashes have become more straight than curled. So I want to go back and get a lash perm that is on my list to do because I really liked the way it looked. I got it last year and I really liked it. I just haven't, I haven't gone back. Okay, so I think that's looking, I think that's looking good. What do you guys think? Let's look at it on the side. All right, so let's, new stuff is over here on the right. Let's try the Thrive over here on the left. Again, this is one of my Holy Grail mascaras. I love it so, so much. So I can see a difference already, in particular with the lower lashes. Here is the Thrive side. 
And here is the elf side. Yeah, I can see a more wide open eye effect over here. Um, I usually don't do two coats. I kind of feel like the elf one needs a little bit of help. So I'm going to add just a little bit. With two bean mascaras, you want to, if you're going to do a second coat, you got to do it fast because I can already feel like it's dried down. And so it becomes really difficult to do a second coat. But we're going to, we're going to try. Yeah, even the bottom lashes have already dried down, but let's see. Okay, there we go. Now, the only thing next that I have to try that's new is the brow pencil, and it comes with a spoolie. I picked up the shade Natural Brown. So um, what I typically do is I use a pencil first, and I kind of just map up, map out the brow shape. I'm not very like precise. I just need it to have like color underneath. And then once I have that, then I go in with a brow pen, which I don't have a brow pen from e.l.f. So I'm probably going to end up using my NYX one or my Milani one. But I just wanted to show you like this is going on really easy. It feels really creamy, but still a little bit waxy. This one says that it's also going to be waterproof. The mascara is not waterproof, and I'm I wouldn't not I would not have bought it if it was waterproof because I'm just not a fan of waterproof mascaras. But um, yeah, so that's the the brow product. I am I am done as far as trying out new Elf stuff stuff that I hauled. Um, I am going to finish the brows off camera and clean up this mascara that I have going on. I just want it to fully dry and then I'll take it off with a spoolie. But this is going to be a good 10 hour wear test. We have the new camo hydrating CC cream over here on the right. Look, you can even see like right here around the nose, like starting to look a little cakey. And look, it's settling already into the little fine line. I don't know guys, here is the original one on this side. And to be fair, this is the line where makeup settles. I don't really have one over here on the left side. So I guess we can ignore that. But um, this is the look, I'll do my daily check-ins. I want you to remember that when I do my check-in, the camera's gonna be flipped, but please know right side, and I will be pointing to the right side for the new camo CC cream along with the new mascara. And on the left side is the OG Camo CC Cream with a Thrive Mascara. The blush is the same. Everything else is the same on both sides. Wish me luck. I hope you guys have a great day. And I will check in with you guys about five or six hours from now. Hey guys, so here is the five hour check-in. I have the new Camo Hydrating CC Cream on this side and I have the OG on this side. To be honest, I'm not really seeing much of a difference. I think it looks pretty decent on both sides right now, but I still, still feel feels or looks a little funky around the nose area. Blush is definitely, definitely intact. I'm really loving the blush so far, but still has five more hours to go. So I'm about to go have lunch and I will do a check-in later on when I get home from work and we'll see which one the winner is. Is it going to be the OG or the new Camo CC Hydrating Cream? Stay tuned. Okay guys, we have come to the 10 hour mark of me wear testing these new e.l.f. products. So over here on the right side, I have the new Camo Hydrating hydrating CC cream and then I have the original camo um, CC cream. I'm also wearing one of the new liquid blushes, a new brow pencil and also the new mascara right here on the right eye and then on the left eye I'm wearing the Thrive. So what are the takeaways? I think honestly with because I use the same primer and powder and setting spray on both sides I, I can't tell a difference. I don't see that one side looks like a natural finish with the OG is a natural finish and then the new side is a dewy finish. I don't see that. I think they look identical. They are both the, the same shade. 
The blush is on and the blush is looking great. Uh, this is the first time that I wear this liquid blush and this is the only shade, this pink shade that I went in with this morning is the only one that I've tried. So I still haven't filmed my swatch video yet. So tomorrow I'm gonna wear a different shade and I'll see if that lasts as well as this one does. But the pigment looks great. I think the brows look great. That pencil was really easy to work with. I'm gonna see if they have um, like an auburn shade because I know they do in the in the original version and then this new version that's waterproof i don't remember if i saw one i should have gotten it but i went with like natural brown or neutral brown whatever the shade was just because i thought like you know it would go better and i mean it doesn't look terrible it's okay uh let's talk about the did i bring it with me let's talk about the mascara so the mascara i have on over here on the right eye and then the side is thrive i feel like the thrive held the curl better I mean, it's not terrible over here on the Elf. I would say the Elf comes in at a close second place, but I'm still liking the Thrive better. I always have. I've compared the Thrive to all the tubing mascaras. I would say the Tarte tubing mascara is like right up there with the Thrive for me, but you know, I didn't really like the Milani one. It's kind of grown on me here and there, but I feel like between the Milani tubing mascara and this new one from elf i like this one better than i do the milani as far as the um uh, camo hydrating uh cc cream oh and i want to point out real quick on the mascara guys look no flaking smudging smearing or anything um but going back to this i mean i, I don't see much of a difference from natural to dewy like it looks the same so i think if you are happy with the original one then stay using it maybe you'll want to mix the two I i'm not like over the moon with either one of them i told you guys this at the beginning of the video the original camo cc cream is not my favorite from the camo line i like the powder foundation and i like the concealer both the hydrating and the matte i think that they're really good um but overall like i it's just it looks makeupy still right in here and it's on both sides on my chin like this whole area it's starting to look makeupy i will say that i'm not excessively oily i did no touch-ups today and my oil is pretty much in check so that's good it does provide good coverage it is a nice shade range for 15 bucks i mean you know, it, it's nice, but it's not my favorite. So, you know, um, if you've enjoyed the original CC cream in the past, then you're probably going to want to try this one. If you didn't enjoy it, will you enjoy this new one? I don't know. I can't say for certain that you will. I'm going to say probably not. But, you know, 15 bucks less a coupon here. It's not that big of an investment. So let me know if you tried it already, if you're going to order it. Did I convince you to not order or to order? <laughs> Sound off in the comments down below. But as of right now, I am definitely going to recommend checking out the mascara if you want an affordable tubing mascara. And I'm definitely going to recommend checking out the new liquid blush because I think the blush is my favorite part of this little wear test. Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts and be on the lookout for my liquid blush swatch video video coming up very soon. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye!